So this lesson builds on what we learned in lesson four with the count if and the if statements. So all we're going to do here is first of all, you're going to write some numbers in for the number of tickets for anywhere from one to ten, but you need a, a good range. So you could say two, five, six, one, uh, nine, and then five, for example. Then all we need to do is to work out whether they've sold three or more tickets. If they have sold, if they bought more than three tickets, it's a yes, otherwise it's a no. So to do that, we're going to use an if statement. So type in if, select it from the menu. Then if this is greater than two, what we need to do is say, yes, it's true. So therefore that, and then if it's not true, therefore we're going to put a no in the box, okay? So because it's not greater than two, it says no, and we drag it down. We can then have a look here. So greater than two, the answer is yes. Greater than two, yes. Less than two, less than three, sorry. So it's a no, and then yes, yes. Then all we need to do now is work out the total like we did last lesson. So we're going to times the cost of the ticket by the number of tickets they buy. And we're going to drag that down there. So now we need to work out the number, the tickets minus 10% for a discount because the answer is yes. So once again, we need to use an if statement. So if this cell here is equal to yes, then we need to give them a discount. So it's going to be this price plus no minus sorry um, itself times by this cell here otherwise it will just be the total price they've got at the moment so the one thing we need to do here which brings us some knowledge from the previous lessons and that's to use the absolute cell referencing so we need to use the dollar sign in front of the C and a dollar sign in front of the two so now as you can see they didn't actually get a discount so there's no 10% coming off it so it remains the same whereas if we look at some of the others so this person here has got a discount they've got 10% off which is about seven pounds yeah that's correct this one should have about eight pounds off yeah and so forth no discount so it stays the same this one 10% off this one 10% off as well then <coughs> we need to use a count if function to work out how many people got a discount so with that we can do equals count if, if it comes up select it then the first thing you do is select your range so the range is going to be the sales in the discount column then a comma and then whether they say the word yes and there you go so you've got four we can do a quick check one two three four and that's correct now this is introducing the next part which you haven't done before and that's conditional formatting so conditional formatting enables you to make things look better depending on the content of the cell so for example if it contains yes we're going to have it to go to green automatically and if it's no it will go to red so all we're going to do here is we're going to go to format conditional formatting and I've clicked the wrong cell to start with so we're going to go here uh, so here if they've got more than if they've got more than more than two so if we go greater than two in the values box we're going to have it to green and then so you can see green you can select a different color green you want but it needs to be green and then all we need to do then is add another rule this time we need to say if this cell is less than three it needs to go to red so you can select to red or pink or whatever you want and that's done so that's formatted so if I change this one from 6 to 2 the color changes automatically and if I change this one to 8 it changes to green and so forth okay so the next part I wants to do so if it's a yes in these cells it needs to be green if it's a no it needs to be red so once again we go to format conditional formatting and then we're going to go to if this cell is equal to da -da -da -da, equal to is equal to so if this is equal to yes we can have it as green and then if it's equal to no it's going to be a red okay so once again you can see green for yes red for no and so forth and that's that so you can click done and then that's all your tasks done so as long as you've done all that exactly like i've shown you you complete today's task and you can turn it in